What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Shikiro Shadow Star Twice Walkthrough Slash Let's Play on NG Plus, which will also help you new game players in your first playthrough. I'm Mibu Jinjiro, and we'll carry on from the Gate of National Castle. So let's see, we'll heal up. Okay, that way will lead to somewhere we'll go there in a bit. I'm gonna first tackle the main castle just a little bit. Alright, and the first thing we're gonna do is just gonna uh, finish that guy's side quest. So some samurais on his ass and he wants us to take care of them. And then he'll reward us with information. You know, at this point the information are probably useless anyway. But you know, for the sake of a walkthrough, I, I think, wow, god damn, who's shooting at me? Oh damn, Sh shinobis. Yeah, gotta hate shinobis. Can't see. Yeah, in this game, these foot soldiers are really stupid. You know, samurai like the generals, they propose a challenge because they're mini bosses. But foot soldiers are pretty stupid, so the only threat is like the shinobi, you know, trash mob. They're quite annoying. You don't see nothing, dude. This is not the droid you're looking for. Right, so be patient. Let them walk away. Never mind. I'm gonna backstab him anyway. Yeah, look at throwing shuriken is quite annoying. Oh, retrospect. Retrospect? I think maybe we should take that out first. Uh, item? Hello? Thank you. Ah, oh, dogs. Oops. Yeah, where are you? This annoying shinobi. Oh, I can't make it. Yeah, I really want to take care of this annoying nightjar. But I can't, seriously. Backstab him. Creepy um, pygmy or dwarf hobbit mo slash monk. Really creepy dude. Alright, there you go. Very annoying. Okay, so these are the Night Josh Shinobis. Backstab his ass. Alright. Should, should have done that first, but whoops. Anyway. Uh huh. Let's best stab him first. And then him. And then him. Makuri the last one. And that's a pretty clean victory. Ceramic shot. Nothing. 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 Alright, I think that's about it for this culling of local samurai mini quest. There you go. Friend. I owe you. Here, as promised, it's all yours. Right, so he gave you a piece of information. A note on smoke signal used by Ashina Shinobi, the Grey Nightjar. Pale pink smoke signal are placed along the rooftop of Ashina Castle. These signal guide the Nightjar. The ashen fizzed flock are surely the only ones able to follow such trail. Not if you, you know, write this out and allow some random stranger to have it. See you, pal. Maybe we'll cross paths again someday. Yeah, um... Yeah, you still need some... Oh, oh, sorry, but I don't do business in danger. He who fights and runs away, you know? Maybe we'll cross paths again. Right, so basically he's hinting that, you know, he'll become a vendor at a later stage in a different place. Which is why it's worthwhile to do his quest, because, um... Those could have more vendors. Okay, so what that tip means is those blue trail, uh, purple trail, purple trail. But before the pur uh, you know, supposed to guide you to the next location. But before that, it's gonna check if there's any more items to grab. 
Loves to kill. Guess not. Uh huh. It's a weird area. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Damn, almost fell to my this. Okay, time to scale the roofs. I'm just gonna quickly check if there's anything on the roof. There, are, you know, there are usually some item here and there. So those are the purple smoke trails that you're supposed to follow. It's a, it's a little more confusing than it sounds actually because there are trails everywhere. So if you just follow it sometimes you might actually get lost and not end up in the place you want to end up. Uh, I'm just gonna marvel at these beautifully 3D modeled roofs. Okay, there you go. That is another um, purple smoke trail. Ah, oh, okay, here's like a difficult jump. Nope, missed. Mm. Yeah, are there any other easy way to get up there? Ah, oh, never mind. There he is! Whoa, god damn it. Oh god, lucky, but I stabbed him. Yeah, these night jars are actually quite annoying. I'm trying to get it on top, but it's kind of hard. Ah, oh, come on. My neck is breaking. Oh, there he is. There you go. Yeah, there's a lot of night jars incoming. They use a big ass shuriken, and they have this chain attack. If you get hit, you lose a lot, a lot of health, and if you deflect, you actually deal a lot of posture damage, so be patient with these guys. Yes, and uh, avoid getting surrounded. Come on, do the chain attack. There you go. Yeah, so if you get caught by that spinning sickle kind of shuriken attack, you're gonna lose a lot of health, so watch out for that. Alright, and here you can see there's a kite, and what you might not be able to see that on the kite is actually a Night Judge Shinobi. So when you walk this way, he's gonna actually charge at you. If you get hit, it's gonna be a one hit KO. Lock that! God damn it, I actually was warning you guys and I got hit anyway. Okay, heal up. Uh, and he uses fire, okay. But yeah, as you can see, if you can deflect that, uh, you know, spinning shuriken attack, you deal a lot of positive damage. Then after that, if you just, you know, attack him a bit and block some more, then you are ready for this blow. Okay, from here, there are other items over there we can get, but before that, we're gonna first get the idol because there's a lot of um, night jars here. Grab this one, backstab him. Grab this item, and we turn around, look up, and grapple. Right, forget about everything else. Because another one will come down from the kites, and if you get hit, yeah, gonna suck. Here's where we get another, I think, a healing gourd seed. Yeah, instead I'm gonna get the one grass because there's no more gold seed. And then here is your sculptor's idol, very important one. So you can rest here. Uh, let me see. How am I doing on healing? Yeah, actually I'm not gonna rest it. Just gonna activate it. And then we're gonna come back here and get some item. Yeah, I'm gonna just quickly check. Yeah, I can see there's a lot of these night jar assholes. And it's very hard to sneak up on them because they are also like shinobis. Like that. Dead. Ah. Yeah, you can see how to see it's a problem. You know, when you're busy fighting this one and another one on another roof is throwing shurikens at you. That's really, really annoying. Anyway, I'm just gonna hear, we're just here to 
get items, right? Oh, come on, I'm just getting items. Chill out. Are you gonna come over? Uh. Yeah, no worth it. Okay, I'm not gonna trigger. Should be another item somewhere. Very annoying when there's so many of them. Gonna quickly see where that item is. If there is actually, you know, more item. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Yeah, I think that might just be it. There's no more items. I think, I think that's, it's just a one item that we need to get. But as you can see, it just got very, very annoying. So let's just not bother with them for now. Okay, then so next part, gonna come here. Raise that idol. Anti chamber. And then we're gonna walk very carefully here. And backstab this guy. So people dressed like that are like the, you know, the basic level samurai kind of, you know, they're, they're probably better than foot soldiers, but they are not super important like the generals. Open. Okay, you can see they are walking towards there. So it gives them a bit of time. And then go backstab them. This is old lady. She will scream if she sees you, so yeah. Sorry, but you have to kill her. And then come to this corner. This guy will be looking out the window. God knows why. Pillars. Okay, then the next area is a little more uh, difficult. There are two. Summarize there, Ashina summarize, and you have to you know you can you can only backstab one, and then the other one you have to fight him fair and square, and he has a very hot, dangerous thrust, so yeah watch out for that, like that. Make sure you mercury that like I just did. Yeah, so, so these Ashina Samurai that dresses in sky blue color, they have this you know, special move where they just do a single thrust and it deals a lot of damage. Um, you know, if you remember when we fought the drunkard Juzo, uh, we had an ally who was also one of these guys dressed similarly. He also had a very, you know, powerful thrust. It's the same move. And the interesting bit of lore is that, you know, these sky blue clothes are very similar to those worn by the Shinsen Gume during the, the Mingji Restoration and the you know end of the Bakumatsu Shogunate era. Right, the Shinsen Gume was a group of secret Ronin that slaughtered um, revolutionaries. They dress in a very similar color, and uh, you know, one of the key technique is called uh, you know flat eye thrust, right, if I were to translate a uh, character for character. They're basically famous for thrusting people. You know, uh, those who watch this anime shouldn't be, you know, should be quite familiar with them. You know, like the number one team leader, Okita Soji, Tokidawa, uh, ah, damn, I can't remember the second team. And then there's like, Saito Hajime, etc., etc., like those 
guys you find in Rurouni Kenshin, right? So um, yeah, Haji, Sato Hajime. So they are. Mem they were members of Shinsen Gume, and they are famous for thrusting. So again, this is might be intentional. Anyway, so for this one, you had to jump down. You can only kill one, and then you have to deal with the other. The blow. Make sure you mature that. Right. And then if it's too much for you to handle, climb back up. You know, the one cool thing about Samurais is... Yeah, they can't scale ceilings. Or attics, for this matter. Just chill until, you know, they leave. Like now. And then come down, get rid of her. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, you know, not into killing old ladies, but uh, fortunately, it has to be done. You know, well, the shinobi and all that. Alright, before we continue, actually, I almost forgot, there's a secret room here. As you can see, it's one of the mugens. Right, so you hug the wall in the middle, automatically you open a room. So over here, you'll find uh, another prayer bead, if it's your first playthrough. Yeah, I'll get a Juzo statue instead. Light Queen Purse. Heavy Queen Purse. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you don't cut through, you don't see the other Queen Purse hidden behind. I think that's all. Okay, then we can go to go. Then we're gonna scale the roof and deal with the, those two Ashina Samurais. Or Kenjitsu Master. I don't really know if this. They probably are samurai. Yeah. If you're serving the, the state, you're a samurai. Okay, you can pass that one of them as usual. And then just deflect and Masuri this one. Ah. Uh, okay. I attack one too many times. Sorry, Mikiri, sorry, Mikiri. Alright, get your loot. And then, before we go through that, we're gonna first quickly come up here and watch another remnant. Lady Emma, tell me, what has caused the state of this man? The rejuvenating water. That is what it is called. Are you telling me that this is Ashina's secret weapon? I am. Those who drink it cannot fully die. No, they become unable to die at all. The rejuvenating water, it also... It springs from the dragon's blood, does it not? Yes. Lady Emma, I do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred. Not at all. Right, so this is pretty much hinting at you that, you know, you're not the only one that, you know, Wolf is not the only one that's immortal. There are others who have similar power. Okay, we're gonna quickly just unlock this. So that if something happens, we'll go to the next room. We don't have to run all the way again. With that said, there are gonna be three night jar shinobis that you can take care of here. You don't have to again. But you know I'm just gonna do it anyway. They're quite annoying, so. Yeah, they're quite annoying. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't block that. Yeah. If you don't block that spinning move, this is what happens. At least I can backstab one now. Dude, I blocked it. What the hell? I'm not deflected. Alright, when you're not doing well, always change location.
All right. There should be a nice loot here, I guess. Oh, leather. Not very useful. Pellets. Also not very useful. What is that? Hmm, little window. That's okay. Oops, never mind. So yeah, as you can see, these are like training spears. They're not in a cross shape because uh, yeah, they're not used by those monks. Those monks actually is a specific style of spear work, very famous in Japan. Ishin's letter, a note left by Ishin in the Watchtower. So Ishin is the Lord of Ashina. Perhaps Emma knows his current way about there. Emma, the Ashina castle gate has grown loud with the sound of scurrying. The Tengu will see to the rats. Worry not. Well, this is really hinting something at you, which you'll find out soon enough. In any case, let's go back down where we came from. And then we're going to be tackling another mini boss. Ashina's Elite. Basically, what that means is, uh, it's just you know, like those Ashina samurai in sky blue uniform. Except you know, he's a mini boss, so he'll hit a lot harder and have cooler moves. All right, there we go. Yeah, see, he's like a boss. So this is like a training dojo, and he's probably like a sensei here. Let's do it. Yeah, he's, he's good at Yado. Yeah, Jetsu. So the trick is you you, you have to you have to uh, yeah deflect. If you deflect properly, he actually kills himself. If you don't, then yeah, you're gonna get killed. Yeah, he actually looks quite easy, right? But um, okay, so over here you get another prey beat. But yeah, the first time I fought him, it wasn't that easy because you know he he does have very fast draw speed. So if you're not careful, he's gonna hit you, and if he hit you like three times or twice, you're gonna die. Okay, hanging scroll of old battle. Ghost once lurked the land of Ashina. The ghost lightning was one was of the fountain head guard, unstoppable by normal means. A way to ground reverse the lightning. It's like very cryptic tips on the battle to come. An ill liver, which also, you know, um, give lightning resistance and cure stunning effect from lightning. So everything is hinting you're going to be fighting a lightning boss soon. Over here is the way to the boss, but we are not going there yet, just yet. Yeah, it's blocked. Alright, instead, we are going to... Come back here. Travel to Ashina Castle Anti Chamber. Alright, once we're back here, we're gonna do the same thing like we did last time. Come this way, sneak up on this guy, dash stab him. Hug the wall, wait for this guy to walk past. We're gonna like spit old lady. Yeah, I'm not really a big f I'm not a big fan of killing old lady. Over here we're gonna then jump down. And then grab this. As you can see there are a bunch of enemies down there. Uh I'm gonna try to Kill one of them. Yeah, it's actually quite annoying to fight them all together. It's good that he, you know, attack himself to this. The Kiri. Oops, missed that Makiri. Okay, he's he's healing his posture. his ass. This guy is the easy one. 
What? Okay. Alright. Once you take care of them... Should be item here. Nope. Alright, you open the gate, which will be a shortcut. Again, a shortcut in this game isn't as useful as Dark Souls. But it's a shortcut nonetheless. So out there is where we fought the general and you know and the riflemen. You can see these are the, the riflemen. And then further down is the stairs that lead to the entrance of Ashina Castle. Anyway, so we'll come back here, go to the back and get some loot. Nothing here. Hill level, right, everything is heading towards the lightning boss. Over here you will find another shinobi too, Sabimaru, it's a dagger that's poisoned. But yeah, since I've already got it, I'll get something else. So what you will find here is Sabimaru, a prosthetic too, a blue poisonous rust on Sabimaru's blade, apply poison status abnormally. Abnormality, okay. Rooted in a war of old, the blaze blue rust was used to drive off inhuman Okami warrior women. Even now, it is likely to be effective against the descendants. It's a pretty cool shinobi prosthetic too, you know. Unfortunately, it just, you know, it costs too much to keep u using. I really would like to use a dual wielding character, but yeah, can't really. Okay, so open this shortcut to Ashina Red Reservoir when you first started the game. And you know, find the the one area in the tower. No, I'm talking nonsense. This is not that. Oops. Alright, this is another place. Never mind. Let's see. You know what? Actually, we're just gonna go this way since we're already here. Uh, yeah, we can't dive in the water yet, so we'll not do that. Instead, we're gonna jump on the tree. And then we're going to Eve Drop, if possible. I think there's an Eve Drop here. No, there's not. Alright, there's a monk and a regular soldier. Always, you know, I don't know, I'll kill a regular soldier. Oops, it was a sweep. What? Oh. Yeah, I by mistake used the uh, a puppeteer nin ninjutsu. Not my intention. What the do? Seriously? Yeah, he'll. Yeah, not my intention. All right, over here you will hear another eavesdrop. Saying we don't have enough salt? Yes, sir. We use it for cooking, of course, but we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. So at the rate people are dying, we're out then? Yes, sir. That's why many on the battlefield are falling ill. I see. <sighs> we'll need to find a way to get some salt then. All right. So this is basically what you need to hear to complete that. You know, first vendor's side quest. He asks you what the action samurai wants. Now you can go and tell him they want salt. Gonna quickly check what's up with this. Okay, this is a gravesite. Grab some item. Oh, nice dragon's blood droplet. Nothing else. Yep. Okay, so over here we have another sculptor's idol. And this will be the Ashina Castle's old grave. So with this, we'll conclude this episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice walkthrough slash Let's Play series. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitch or both if you want. And hope that uh, you know information here helps you with your own playthrough. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Mibu Jinjuro, out.